The hope of using the Christmas period to cash in by some traders at racecourse market has been dashed after fire swept through their shops. Most of them lost everything before the firefighters were able to bring the inferno under control. Some affected traders are now thinking about how to return to business after losing all their investments. Our leadership do not think about our welfare. Everybody here does whatever she likes in the market. Some have turned the area to cooking spots, even though others sell combustible materials close by. The lawlessness here is too much. Before I go to the market, all my items have been burnt. I sell plastic bowls and I've lost everything. How to get back to business is now my headache. In less than 10 minutes, the fire had spread to several shops. An observation by the firefighters pointed to the dry nature of the weather and combustible items in some of the shops as the reasons for the quick spread of the fire. Like we all know, the dry season has started. And when dry season starts like this, uh, substances get dried. And then you realize when they get dry like this, then the ignition temperatures of the substances become very low. So the small temperature that is applied starts a big fire. We should try and control our ignition sources so that we always avoid undesired fires. Though an investigation to establish the cause of the fire is underway, some affected traders who witnessed the incident said it was related to cooking gas cylinder explosion. This is the second market fire in Kumase in eight days. The French line market fire, which occurred on December 10, destroyed over 100 shops. But business is gradually returning in the area. The member of parliament for Menchia South and energy minister, Matthew Opoku Prempe, is offering to support the victims to bounce back to business. People have lost their stuff. And we saw them reconstructing to start to re-establish their livelihood. So we came to support them with cement and um, iron sheets. And we'll deliver it through the NADMO as soon as possible to help facilitate the work that they do.